So here's the, this is the big reveal as far as I'm concerned. No, but this is the, this is like the master fundamental, hidden fundamental of the golf swing that before uh, this occurred to me, uh, when it first occurred to me, I was like, no, that can't, that can't be what I've been doing this whole time without knowing specifically what it is. I see it as what you've been doing yeah. when you first started. It. Yes. I can see that now. Yes. You're explaining it as such, but I've seen that in the swing. Yes. I've not seen that explanation. Yes. But I could always see it. Yes. It's a hard thing to put into words. It is indeed. Yeah. But here we go. So I'm going to take a steering wheel here. Now, it's a steering wheel cover. It's not yeah. quite a steering wheel, but but here's what I want, want you to perceive is that I'm going to put it above my head so it, it is like the golf swing stretched out, okay? That's the apex. Now, I'm going to, from my perspective, this thing's above me, I'm going to turn it to the left. And I'm gonna think of it like it's a, it's a lid on a jar that I wanna open, okay. okay? Which means I'm gonna turn it to the Good left or, yeah. So, yeah. You, you know, normally when you turn a jar, you're turning it uh, to your left, yeah? To, un to open it. Yeah. Most jars you tighten to the right, yeah. Yeah, righty tighty, it. right? Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Yeah. Something like that, right? Okay. So we're gonna loosen the lid on this thing, okay? And, and when I loosen the lid on this, I'm gonna do it from my whole body, including my feet, okay? So when I loosen it to the left, I'm gonna, my whole body from my feet. There you go. See that? There you go, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, haven't I rotated to the right, JH? Yeah. I have. Yeah. But this has moved to the left. Yeah, it has, yeah. Right. Yeah. You try that. Well, which part of you is rotating? Well, no, right. everything, everything. You, you try it. Lucy, Lucy lefty. Right. Correct. And you see how you've rotated. Use your feet as well. well the halo, this right. is the halo. Yeah. The halo is going Left. in that direction. Yes. And I'm going in the other direction. But right. The, but but both those directions are one direction. Yeah, but why is that? It's because it's a mirror, right? Like if this was a mirror face, you're right, it's left. It makes sense, right? Okay. But but you agree that you're turning right and it's turning left relative sure, to you. Absolutely. Right, exactly. We, we, we can see that. Yes, yeah. exactly. Okay. And, now... And the elongation stretching that trail side is fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. Just feel the pitch. Yeah, now... Going to the apex. <laughs> This is why I want, this is why I wanted to do this with you because it's fucking, it's hilarious. Sorry, I, I shouldn't say the f bomb, but okay. So hold it up there again. Just face the camera again. <coughs> so hard left, JH. Yes, the whole thing, perfect. Now, this no, isn't how the golf. That in my golf swing. Right, yeah. but no, but this is how the golf swing is stretched out. But how does it actually work? It's folded over. Yeah. So let it fold over. Yeah. No, just let it just let yeah. it fold over. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now. Hard, hard left again yeah. from your feet. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Me right. being an ex race car driver and, yeah. <laughs> and instructor, I can feel that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard left. Yes. Apex delivery. Right. No, no, let it, let it, let it actually rotate. Like really, ro no, no. Turn the wheel. Turn the wheel. Yes. From yeah, your buddy, feet. You You've been here. I know. You were you here. That's what I showed Elf. Day one and day two. I know. <clears throat> I know, but that's why it blew me away when I when I realised that. I'm like, how did I not see this earlier? Okay, yeah, so and that's why I didn't see I know. it early enough because I, I didn't have this. No, I know. Showing me. I know. But now you go that way. Now, if you turn down the line to the camera, hard left. No, turn the wheel. Yes. Turn the wheel. Don't move it. Turn it. Yes. And rotate this. Okay, turn it, right. What we can see here, without moving it, just rotate it, one more. Start again, just rotate it, don't move it, yes. What you have here is apparent opposition. Oh, a massive opposition. You feel it, Yeah. they can see it, guess what? It's not opposition. Through the length, from base to apex, it's actually all the, I can't even talk now, from base to apex, it's all the same direction. Yeah, it is. So this is why I started with what is the swing, so that you understood, because I didn't want to just lead straight into the opposition. I want you to understand that what the swing is, is base to apex. It's folded over. This opposition that you're feeling now, go ahead. 
right? That opposition is not opposition through the alignment of the whole thing. Now, from there, right, we're gonna take that to the top, right? It's no, it's no longer in opposition, is it? No. No. When it's unfolded, it's in alignment. Look at your left elbow and your left knee. Yeah, yeah. Right elbow, and right I can knee. Feel that. Yeah. Now what happens is it just goes over the wait, stay in your stay in your deal. It just keeps going. So it keeps going. See how it turns you the other way? Yep. And you come down into here. And now it's apparent opposition in the opposite direction. Is that not impact? Well, it it would absolutely be impact. <laughs> right. But and I've never but, been there. But guess what? It feels like opposition still, oh, doesn't it? But guess what? It's not. It's alignment yeah, it through the length. So it's been aligned from start to impact. It's never gotten out of alignment for a top player. Never. I'm going to demonstrate this for you now. If you come back near the bucket so you can see this from, a, from the right view. Remember, I used to always like that 45 yep. view. Yep. Yep. Okay. So, again, without moving... There we go. Okay. There we Massive go. opposition, apparently. Now, as I go in that apparent opposition, I'm going to let the club, the reference of the club, I'm going to let that swing. Apparent opposition. Now, as I let it continue swinging in that direction, when that changes, to stay in alignment with it, I have to change. And that's all that's happening. I'm in alignment and I'm remaining in alignment. I'm not getting out of alignment. I'm not twisting myself. I'm not creating some funky shape. This is what I was saying earlier about the importance of not trying to make a shape. The shape is within you. It's within the structure from base to apex. It's apparent alignment becomes apparent opposition to opposition on the other side, but it's always alignment. So the shape you want to train is within you from base to apex, staying aligned. Well, what's extraordinary in what I felt there was that I had so much containment within my, within my, my vertical axis. Yes, left and right axis, yes. But I, but I felt so much stretch. Yes. It's almost as if I was out here. Yes. But I was here. Yes, that's... I didn't go anywhere. No, it's but really... the stretch. So the stretch that... See, this is again why I wanted to do this with you. Think about where you're stretching. You're stretching the folded over to the unfolded. That's where the stretch yeah, is. And that's what it feels. It feels that, you know, right. when you did that then? That's what it felt like in my body. It felt like my body is stretching like this right yes. through, through these tangents. Aligned stretching, not stretching in some arbitrary direction. Oh, yeah, and contained right? within those lines. Yes. Not outside the lines. Like a normal golf swing, I've always felt with the iteration of swings that I've been yes. exposed to over the years. It's always, we're always going away from this somewhere. That's exactly right. And away from somewhere over here. And even on the downswing, we're going away from it. Well, this is staying the, reason, the reason I started with our initial chat, talking about Mark Twain and Ben Hogan and all this, is that this is a very specific direction here, isn't it? Oh, I believe it. Okay, the specificity is such that if you go in a different direction, it's not this. You will not be aligned Think of it, what, is, what is the definition of alignment? It's like it's a particular line. Yeah, it is. Right, so your swing... A contained area yeah. in space or, or direction in space. Right. That's what alignment is. There you go. So what you need is you stay in alignment through your base to apex yeah. at your rate. Now, that's Matt Wolf. That's John Rahm. Yeah. They stay in alignment for their physicality, yeah. whatever that happens to be, right, from beginning to end. And you know how we know they're in alignment at the beginning? Because they're in alignment at impact. And they would not be in alignment at impact if they started out of alignment. Oh, yeah. You cannot get there. Well, they couldn't get back to it. No. I'll, yeah. I'll invoke Jackie Burke. Jackie Burke, again, so I learned so much from that whole time with yeah. Yeah. Elk and Jackie yeah, Burke. But he said, you, <clears throat> if you're not balanced before the swing, you cannot find balance in the swing. Yeah. That's genius. Yeah, it is but genius. think about... I, I remember. I remember yeah, you swing. remember that quote. Now, this, let's take this alignment with the same gravity as balance. 
if you're not aligned before the swing, you cannot find the alignment in the swing. Yeah. The reason you can't is because the thing's traveling at 100 miles an hour. Of course it is, yeah. yeah. So you want to be in the alignment. So set up here down the line. And again, I want you really turn that wheel. Yes, from your feet, yes. Right, and then go into motion and keep going. Keep turning it, keep turning it, yep. And what happens here is obviously when you've got complete control of this, whereas the club, at this point, what would happen is the club would keep swinging. Yeah. Wouldn't it? Oh, okay. It wouldn't stop, right? No, no, it's just going to backload. Yeah. yeah, and then when it backloads, what happens? It changes you. Yeah, So it. allow that to happen now. But, I, but it hasn't changed me. It's just put me... It's, I've just taken this from here and brought it back to where That's it was. That's right, yes. It hasn't gone anywhere. No. It no. just stayed there. Yeah. It's turned you around. Yeah, it has. It has turned me around. <clears throat> but, but the relativity of this is there. Well, let's talk about this. You set up again. Just come over this way just a little bit. I've felt that amount of stretch marks. Really? And, and, That's and, good. And it's, co it's, it's, it, it's a coiling power. I've yes. never felt that. I've got so many parts of me on the extremities of my, on my body that are generating stretch and coil. Great. Extraordinary. Awesome. And here, and I'm strong in the core because of yeah. you know, my workout routine. I'm strong here, but I can really feel that. Yeah. That's Just nice. come over this way a little bit. And I've never felt that. Okay, perfect. So this, we're going to talk, I'm going to invoke, I'm going to talk more about the sequence later, but for now I'm just going to invoke it. So set up there. Yep. Turn the wheel left and go up to the top. That's what I'd call this is you leading, this is from your feet, your base to apex, okay? Now that feels like <coughs> that wolf to me. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, exactly. Base to apex, okay? Yep. Now, what happens next, the sequence, it's base to apex, then it's apex, apex back to base. Keep going back to base. Right. You see that? Oh, wow. So I feel that. You feel that. But that's but you see the sequence is from your feet. Do it one more time at the start. It's from your feet, base into the apex. Then the apex keeps going. Yep. It keeps going back to the base. Right. And look at this. Yes. Wow. But see that what what is perceived as being this big twisted thing is actually alignment. Yeah. It's not misalignment. No. It's but alignment it's through... the initial alignment, isn't it? That's exactly we right. We don't do that much. But that's why I was saying, look, JH, look, this is a hidden fundamental. Nobody's talked about this. They haven't. Every good player has it, and they're in alignment from the beginning to impact. Look, there's not a million ways to do it. <clears throat> we know there's not a million ways to do it because all the top players are in basically the same impact alignments. Those impact alignments are essentially that their upper outer girdle is rotated about as far to the right of them as you could get it, and their inner lower girdle is rotated to the left for a right-hander about as far as you get it. Yeah. The best players in the world are all and have always been that way. And, that, and that's why we see this <coughs> configuration of the trail arm and the positioning of the trail elbow. Right. And the, the yeah. lead arm and, and, out here. And, and, and all the space here. Right. So the, the better the player, the more they exhibit that alignment, it looks like a misalignment, doesn't it? This is the thing, it looks, turn through the ball, do this, do that. Yeah. Turn, like, no, no, stay aligned, yeah. okay? This is what I'm saying, it's how different this is, JH. It's like, do I need to turn through the ball, right? And then lag the, no, 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 I've just got to stay in alignment in this opposition and in sequence. Marty, the base first... to apex, apex to base. 